news tonight. Elk Home police say that they have solved a murder mystery that began months ago. Tonight, a husband is behind bars, charged with his wife's murder, which was staged to look like a hate crime. 10 News reporter John Carroll is in El Cajon with why a neighbor says he isn't surprised by this arrest. I'm outside the former home of Shima Alawadi. Another family now lives here. I spoke with her daughter's best friend today, and she says the family is devastated, but even at this early point, they feel that justice has been served. We determined that this homicide was a result of domestic violence and not a hate crime. El Cajon Police Chief Jim Redmond finally put to rest rumors that had persisted for months that the murder of 32-year-old Shima Alawadi was a hate crime. Instead, he says her husband, Kasim Alhamidi, brutally beat her to death. Uh, you know what? It it's, was a little expected. Neighbor Don Freeman was not surprised to hear about today's arrest of Kasim Alhamidi. He knew the Alhamidi family and says the notion of Alawadi's murder being a hate crime just never rang true. We kind of figured that it was in the family. Hate crime, you know, that was pretty much the next day. That was, uh, you know, the consensus that it wasn't a hate crime. Alawadi's bloody body was found by her daughter Fatima, seen here talking to 10 News the day after the murder. And standing beside her, the man now charged with his wife's murder. Kasim Alhamidi, as you can see, he appears to be crying. And within a couple of weeks, here he is at his wife's funeral in Iraq, collapsing to the ground. There were many aspects of this case that we needed to look into. That answer came in response to my question about why it took nearly eight months to make an arrest in the case. There were cultural issues that we needed to look to, into. There was many witnesses and sometimes homicide investigations just take time. Now the investigation into this brutal murder is over and the prosecution begins. Kasim Alhamidi is scheduled to be arraigned on Tuesday. In El Cajon, John Carroll, 10 News.